Welcome to a new episode of No Rules. I'm your boy Spitz Gonzalez. In the house we have Felix K. Kemp, the guy that was uh, born in Kenya. Not a though. Uh, we've got Greg M. Bond. Have you sold your camera yet, Greg? Gumtree, yes he did. <laughs> sold his camera. <laughs> and we've got Tigo Seagull, aka Tuko, in the house. Tigo, it's a bad time, I can't lie. Well, no man. guests. And you know why? Why? Coronavirus. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's not why. <laughs> what do you mean? What do you mean? I told the guests I got on the virus. They don't need to come here. They don't need to come here. <laughs> we we didn't really put any effort into getting a guest this week. We had a good run. Yeah. Miles, ZZ, yeah. two of the best episodes ever. Yeah. Uh, and we knew we were filming today, but we also thought we were going to film on Friday. So we had a good guest lined up for Friday, but fate fate's worked against us. Mm hmm. It's just me and you. Yeah, that's not. I, I just like it when it's organic and there's no pressure. Yeah. I saw Marv on Saturday. Uh, he was driving around in a car park. <laughs> oh. uh, we was at, we was at uh, our friend's birthday. A guy called Money Murph. Uh, the other guy was called Liam Francis and Dapson. So they had a party in um. This what was it? It was in Trent Park. Okay, I don't know where that so is. So deep, deep north where all right. the mansions. That's right. where all the you know the oh, guys upstairs okay. live. Yeah. So they had a party there, and um, I saw Marv just driving around, Marvin Abbey, just driving around in the car park. What's up? Showing off his car, he's got a new exhaust. So, you know, I interrupted him. I said, oh, Marv, what, what's going on, man? You, you know, you said you was going to Paris. You didn't even tell me you're back. Are you coming on no rules? And he said, one second, and went and drove around again. <laughs> so I changed my mind. Until Marv sold his car, <laughs> he ain't coming in. He ain't coming in. But there's one guest that wants to come on. Who's that? The Jammer. Oh, okay. So Jamma wants to explain how he put some money on top <laughs> of the money that Skepta used to buy him a car. So he wants to talk about that. Um, Does so he really want to talk about that? I think he's got. I, I think he wants. To, he wants to argue against that, which he can't really and truly. Wiley's You're talking about friend. Wiley's Easy Mills interview. Yeah, that was. I mean, Wiley said uh, Skepta bought Jamma a car, which we found. That's just facts. That's just facts. <laughs> uh, no grown man should be buying another grown man a car. Why not? <laughs> this is, I mean, surely um, you've got now you've got finance, you've got HP, yeah. and you've got um. What's I don't the know. One? What do you think? Of Jam lease, lease, lease purchase. Yeah, yeah. Well, you just paid. What do you think of, of uh, Jammer's credit rating though? Does Jammer pay tax? That's a good question. You know. Yeah, self-employed probably. No, Jammer's a homeowner. You reckon? They were doing Lord of the Mics in his basement. Yeah, sure. Surely he owns that now. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm sure he's got investments. But I've never seen him drive. I've never seen him. No, nah, he's got investments. I, I believe he has. He's yeah. got royalties. He's making money off some beats. Yeah. Like destruction. Dun yeah. dun. Yeah, he's making money. He's making money. Yeah. If it was um, what was the what was it? Matt DJ Mac Ten. You remember that name? Yeah. Remember that DJ? Yeah. I know he ain't making no money. No money <laughs> if you disagree, Mac Ten, then you come in the show and tell me to my face. <laughs> well, it's funny because like, like rap and like yeah. music stuff, it's been big conversation points the last couple of weeks. Yeah. ZZ Mills and Wiley. Yeah. But your old friend is uh, back in the news cycle. Who Tony Temper? Patrick. Patrick. People don't <sighs> know that you've got a history with Tiny. His name's now Tiny. He's not Tiny Temper anymore. Uh, see, I've got a CD. I've got CDs of me, Tiny, Royal, Crucial, D Duck, Napa, Shizzle. And a couple of MCs that I didn't care about at the time. <laughs> We're just on one extra spitting. And Tiny Temper used to say, Bust that cap. And I remember, <laughs> I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell you a story about Bust that cap. That was meant to be his reload bar. Right. So as an MC back in the day, I had a reload bar. I didn't have a reload bar. I was just a funny guy. But if I, if I would say, This is what I'm talking about, what the fuck is he talking about? Everyone yeah, would go mad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't really have a reload bar like Roy. Roy had GBH, uh, Bruiser had You Get Me, mm. and all this. So uh, we was at a, a rave. So everyone, you know, everyone's excited. Everyone's dropping their reload bars. So it's going around. Shizzle, uh, uh, what's that one? Solanke, when we come from, get I don't know, he dropped his bar. Then yeah. Napa dropped his bar. Oh, crack your soul. Everyone's getting reloads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's not my time. Yeah. Right? There's You're a crowd here. It's not my time. Yeah. yeah. So um, Tiny Temper decided, you know what? I'm definitely getting this reload. So he went down on one knee. Went down on one knee, looked at the crowd. He said, <laughs> the crowd looked at him like we don't know that one so he had to get up 
<laughs> and finish the whole 16. Oh, God. That is an L for any MC. If you're going <laughs> to yeah. drop a reload bar, you're only meant to drop two bars. Jordy told me that D-Double just said, ooh, I get this thing the other day. He, but he barely he's, he even needs to do that. That's it. He just gets up and goes... <gasps> and then reload. everyone goes mad. Reload it. But if he has to do it, if he goes, ooh, and does a 16, and he's on one knee, yeah. and no one does nothing, <laughs> D-Double, get up. Finish off the 16. <laughs> expects us to get up and do his ad-libs. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, he asked me to come in his... Um, Video, uh, he was doing a video for Wifey Rhythm, so I attended. I was getting my haircut, so I'm in the video. People, if you check out Tiny Temper's video, Wifey Rhythm, well, we'll see clip that. We'll, clip, we'll see you, you're kind of in the background of that. Yeah, we'll put yeah. that here now. Yeah. You know what? He's, he's back. He's back. And he's back, and the Think fans there. love it. I mean, 54 <laughs> retweets out of a thousand. That's great. I always say, I always say, if you're a wrestler, you're coming back. Yeah. You come back at Survivor Series, you come back at WrestleMania, you come back at Royal Rumble. You don't come back on Raw and SmackDown. It's not effective. You ride a shoulder injury, you're out for a year, but you come back on Raw. When you're coming back to school on a Monday, you need whoever stayed up to be like, do you know who came back? You don't want to be on a Friday night going, oh, he's back. It's even like school absence. You're ill. You got coronavirus <laughs> before coronavirus has gone viral. <laughs> so you're off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, but you're going on Friday. Yeah, that's so you put black on the white collars <laughs> here for one day. Come on. So for me, Friday's not a good day to come back. That's raw or SmackDown. Well, that's a nice catch up on what you've been up to. Uh, vest, by the way. Oh yeah, this is so you guys keep talking about vests. This is my other vest yeah. I've got, uh, and I thought you know I'll wear it no top. I, you, you know what? With fashion, I'm so free. I got so many messages yesterday about my trainers I was wearing because poet was saying that my trainers were yeah. pregnant. Okay, but um, Felix, you don't be laughing <laughs> at pregnancy. Where <laughs> she wearing in the face like Kenya? But um, I feel like I'm fashion free. Even with this coronavirus, I am fashion. I feel. I can do what I want and no one's telling me anything. Anything. And people are telling you stuff, you're just not listening. I'll tell you a funny story. So Friday, uh, Chairman Hollis, Chairman says to me, oh, you know what, Specs? Our boy Dags has got a, a, a rave. Let's go there. Dags is 40. Dags. Dags, D-A-G-Z. Okay. F- what I like about Chairman and Dags, they're 40 going on 50. So they like these, you know, these moonlighting. They like this old school stuff. That's what I like. It's different. You go, when you go out with them, it's different. I said, Chair, listen, I'm in a trackie. I'm, I don't try to be immature, but I don't want to go home and get my jeans. I'm in a trackie. He said, oh, it's cool, man. You know, you're getting, I'm in a trackie too. So we get there, you know, we're outside. And first of all, he sends me this voice note. I have to send you this voice note. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Chairman. <laughs> it's the normal show. So he, he forwards me the message. From Dax. Okay. After I've, I've said, well, I'm wearing a tracksuit. Yeah. Tell Specs to come in his tracksuit, man. See you in a bit. Cool. Okay? Yep. Cool. So Chairman calls me. I'm in a tracky way getting in. But bear in mind that voice note says Specs. Hmm. <laughs> we get to the door. Mm. The bouncer straight away. Ah! My last Specs! I'm coronavirus and sharing with these guys. <laughs> yes. yeah? yeah? Clapping hands, hugging. They've let me in. Chairman's walking behind me. They said, Chairman, no tracksuits. Oh, wow. Chairman said, no, 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 I'm with Specs. Da, da, da. Yeah, but there's no tracksuits. Specs can wear tracksuits, but you can't, he, he can't wear a tracksuit. Now, Chairman's six foot nine. Yeah. There's a possibility Chairman could start doing what Frosty done to issues on the stairs. <laughs> if you make the most noise with your feet, it means you've lost. Allegedly. Allegedly. So I'm thinking, I'm in a, I'm, I'm, I'm in a situation, I, I, I don't want to be around no grips and match for the <laughs> second week in a row. I said, I said, chair, listen, you can't wear tracky. Go and get your jeans, I'll wait you through. And he said, nah, house is far, whatever, cool. So I said, I can see chairman's getting annoyed. So I said, chairman, let's go somewhere else. Then I said to him, actually, chairman, when I drove here, I saw as does open. Chairman went Asda <laughs> and bought jeans to wear to get in. What's the brand in Asda? George. 
Is that the brand? George Jeans. I will call chairman now to ask what what brand they are. <laughs> they're George, they're George Jeans. He got changed by meat, cucumber, <laughs> carrots and bread. Because there's no fit in them in Asda. <laughs> How late was it? Two in the morning on a Friday, because it's 24 hours, it's Friday. Right. So he's wearing these Asda jeans, smelling like French bread. <laughs> we it's walk up smell. in the, we walk in the cup, and I'm looking at Chairman. Chairman, do you know that I am a no rules member? <laughs> and I'm gonna talk about this. Chairman. And he says to me, when we get in, he gives me a drink, he says, I don't tell no one. <laughs> That means tell everyone. Of course it does. So that was my story. That was my day on Friday. And I'm so glad I remembered. Chairman <laughs> was wearing clothes from Asda just to get into a club. And team when we walked in, there was only nine people in there. Nah, don't do that. It wasn't worth it. Don't do that. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> I saw you took a lot of pictures that day. So, listen, when I walked in there, I said to him, look, listen, I know why there's nine people in there. He said, why? I said, because Vibar, Vib- they're performing. <laughs> <laughs> What's Jordan scripts come out? <laughs> Let's get into some serious Sundays. Let's go. Serious Sundays is the part of the show where we go back to your comments from the last episode, or we'll find we'll put a tweet out there, or we'll check out the ratings and reviews on Apple Podcasts, see what you guys are saying there. Today we're going to go back to the last episode, look at some comments. Mm-hmm. First comment comes from Minoto Mori. <laughs> Minoto. Minoto. Uh, Mumto. Mumto. Actually, Mumto Mori. Mumto Mori. Mm. I'm sorry for that name. <laughs> yeah, me too. Miles is the Thierry Henry of L's, a generational talent. Mm. <sighs> I speak, you know what? I speak, I speak to Miles every day. Mm. Miles had a go at me yesterday in the group because I didn't agree that the song sounded like Miss. So Tiny Temper released his song. and Top winners. Top winners with notes. Not free ass. Um, and Miles said that it sounded like Mist. Madness had sent us a song. And when yeah. I heard it, I was like, no. I didn't get it. And then Tigo said it sounds like... Brandy and Monica. Brandy and Monica, the boy is mine. Yeah. Which we all agreed. And he agreed with you. Yeah. And then sent another song and said yeah. it sounds like this. Mist and Nines. And then forwarded his own voice note. Yeah. Explaining why. Yeah, he did. So I'm like, look, listen, Miles, you're having it. This is an L. Yeah. And he said to me, oh, it's not all about jokes all the time, Spec. Sometimes you've got to be serious. We're having a grown conversation. <laughs> we weren't. And that, that ended a whole group chat. We all went to bed after that. No, I, if, after that, I read that thing about coronavirus and sent the message in and said, guys, just so you know, coronavirus is getting serious tomorrow. But yeah, ap- apart from that, it was bedtime. So Miles has L virus. And he's been having L-Virus for years. And yeah. he is the Champions League winner, World Cup winner, Euros winner. He is Ballon Law. Next comment comes from Xanax. Like, come on, man. Tarek, T- you were in Ralph Lauren. Of course. I, I remember when Ralph Lauren was the one, man. Back the in the day. Now. Huh? It's the one no, now. No, who's out of fashion for me, man? <laughs> I used to wear a shirt, Ralph Lauren shirt with Umbro tracksuit bombs. Poet just did two shoots for Ralph Lauren, one with his kids. Is it? Yeah. Amazing. So they pay? They pay, they pay Poet. What is it? Go on, Poet, man. Xanix says, Miles needs to be a regular on No Rules show for every week with another guest. What? Oh, for real. Maybe that says for real. That's up to you, Tigo. Can we? Can we Can we add Miles as a co-host? I think uh, we've been working on that yeah. like, at least once a month for Miles' yeah. appearance. Because there's so much of his life we need to focus on. I would love to have a show of Miles, to be honest. Mm. Um, and we talk about it all the time. But we have to start somewhere, isn't it? We yeah. Wanna, yeah, we want to well, have that building. Well, Miles, so he can Miles come could floor. easily be yeah, yeah part of any... He could add something to any show, to be honest. Match of the day. He'd be good on match of the day. Yeah. Just bullshit. Yeah. But he would be good on any show. Miles yeah. is slow, by the way, people. Let's just put the corn on the cob. Let's just put a corn on the cob. <laughs> Miles is slow. He's slow. Yeah? He's slow. It's, I don't think it's, it's, it's that he's slow. It's that he, he's always playing catch up. Like, 
he'll he'll put his foot in his mouth by saying something that you think you didn't think that through. The second he's thought it through, he's he's so far behind that he's constantly trying to grab and claw and ca- trying to get himself mm-hmm. up an even kill. I don't think he's slow. I just think he doesn't think. And then he then when he his brain kicks in, it's like shit. Got to dig my way out of this. I mean, you, when you put Scribs' number on Twitter without even realizing that for me is Scribs, it's Scribs got a message straight away. <laughs> The internet don't play. Scribs is a teacher. He had to change his number. <laughs> he had to change his number. Ahmed Nur said, man said delicate dish. I don't remember this one. So, mm. so Miles, when describing bat, eating yeah. bat, he okay. wanted to say it was a delicacy, but he kept saying it's a delicate dish. Wow. And I got, I got some heat on Twitter <laughs> for not, for letting him get away with it. Yeah. And I'm like, I wasn't letting him get away with it. <laughs> I knew what he wanted to say. <laughs> I just wanted him to not realize what he was saying. Happened to me. Happened to me on AFTV one time. What? I kept saying blessing in the sky. Oh, right. In the sky. So blessing in disguise. So it happens. The brain just goes left. We've all got our blind spots. Yeah. And Sleepy Three. Why is is, what what is this? What what are all these names? NCP3 says the editing of this episode is something else, man. When they had numbers come up from Miles calculating was too funny. That was good. I think the guys that um, are editing are guys that have been with us for years now, man. Hmm. That's all I know. If I meet other camera guys, if one is not a, a, a predicament and the other one isn't George Clooney, my spirit goes. <laughs> It's you know what I mean? It's actually tough working with people in the in when it comes to like everyone has to see the same thing. Yeah. The minute you start working with people who it's like, ah, oh, fuck, they don't see it the same way. Everything's a step off. It's one of the hardest things to me in in our industry that we can do. But you upset me though, Tigo, because the last time I came in office, or in fact, two weeks ago when I came in this office, obviously I'm used to seeing the same lot. Hmm. But you, there's a new guy. Yeah. And he's black. Yeah. The last time when we was doing Massive Hill, there was a guy with dreads. <laughs> so I don't think you've learned your lesson. <laughs> Stay away from Uganda. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Stan Bell says, Miles was named after Miles Davis. And there I was earlier today thinking I'm going to name my first son after Miles Davis. Tell the Moody Diva she's ruining it. Who's Miles Davis, T? You didn't listen to any Miles Davis after... After you lot spoke about Miles Davis last yeah. week. There's no way I'm going home to type in miles after I know a miles, that's slow. I don't want to meet another miles. That's not going to speed things up. So you can't listen to any jazz in your house? <sighs> nah, not jazz, nah. Not, not What's the most jazz. calm music you listen to? When I'm, getting a, uh, when I'm getting a sad ending, that's fine. You know, when I'm you getting a massage and all that, that's that's cool, but no, no, not when I'm just in my house. That, that can never go on my mixer, no way. Next comment comes from Maz. I think it's an app by Miles. The way he was talking about coronavirus shows he's quite smart. You know, he did surprise me. He made me, he made me hot. I took off my clothes, glasses, Notice everything. That, yeah. He surprised me. He surprised me. Uh, he surprised my family. my family. My family think that he, I told him that, you know, he, he knows a lot about, you know, coronavirus and they think he's a scientist. Right. So. Who in your family? Uh, Auntie Hala. Oh, right, right, right. Auntie Hala, you dimwit. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, um, I was surprised. I, I, I didn't know, because I talk to Miles every day and we talk about football. And so I didn't know that he actually went and done research. That's the first time I've actually seen Miles go and do research on something like that. Yeah. So it, so it shocked me. Yeah, it shocked the fair. world. That's fair. Yeah. You know? I've never known him as being a studious person. But he, you know what? What surprises me is how he's gone and researched coronavirus, but hasn't really tried to find out why his head's so small. <laughs> That's, that's that's Zika that, virus. Do you know what I mean? That is that's why he can he can hear Mr. Song because his ears are not the right size, so he can't hear nothing. Next comment comes from our boy Trending UK. If anyone charges up like a Super Saiyan, I swear I'd punch that Don so hard in his nose would go through to the back of his head. Do you remember when we were young? We all used to say things about our own anger. If I see red, yeah, buildings yeah, will yeah. come down. Yeah, yeah. Remember that? If I cry. If I cry. <laughs> that's when you know no. I'm mad. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Remember Critical. If I do a cartwheel, that's when you know everything's coming down. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone used to have, what was mine? Mine was like, if I take my glasses and throw it, then you know that I'm going to, you know. Go home without glasses. Yeah. 
because they'll be broken. <laughs> and Miles <laughs> talks about charging up. And crying. So what do you think of it? If you charge up, yeah. so that means that you charge in your own time. So the wire goes in your unus and surely you charge. <laughs> surely. All I think is that's a lot of energy to burn. You can't be angry if you if you notice that you're charging. Nah, yeah, so it's, it's putting on a show, isn't it? So Miles is that 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 made me stop. Like that made me that conf that confirmed to me that maybe in year two, that pregnancy and 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 the beef maybe did happen. But he's been trying to walk that back. Have you noticed that the last few weeks trying to make it like, oh, she was allegedly pregnant or. Or she wasn't pregnant, or we didn't beat her up. I think, he's, I think his mum. I think his mum. I think when he goes home after filming, his mum tells him. If she, she watches the show, she'll say to him, "Don't. You shouldn't be saying that." She should though. And but that's why he's backing off. Once you say something on the internet, you can't back down. If you no. say you're getting a thousand retweets, it has to. It can't be fifty-four. <laughs> it can't be one hundred and six. It has to be a thousand. The guy you quote to it can't delete his account. <laughs> you can't. You can't delete. You know what I'm saying? So for me, once you make a statement, you got you got you got to stick by it. Unless you're me with no rules, where you're telling people you could change your mind at any time. Yeah, you that's the difference. I tell people yeah. I'm saying this, but I could change my mind. But other people, they'll make these statements and then they want to go back. Like the school stuff, it keeps changing. Yeah, that's why. You know what? My dream is to get him and Taser because Taser always says to me, "Get me and Miles in the same room." All right, let's do that. Nah, I don't want Taser and Miles in the same room yet, man. We could do a four-man booth. But no Marv, no Marv Abbey. He's just going to drive space, away from space you. for his car, man, dude? He's just going to drive away from you. Yeah. And Keith, Keith, you ain't coming on. <laughs> Keith, Austin, those guys ain't coming on. I told you that Keith already. Keith and Austin aren't associated anymore. Why, what happened? Austin moved on. What do you mean? Snips, he's in America. New York. <laughs> no, he's, he, he, they, they know each other through Spotify and now uh, he's somewhere else. Huh? Yeah. Oh. So you don't need to bring Austin up anymore. So we can take we can take Austin's name out of the outside the box. Austin's, you know who Austin manages. I know, a girl who is black. If she was white, if she was white. Yeah, you already know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that. Is Austin black? Yes. Why? <laughs> Keith's black. Have you, have you got a picture of Austin? I, I think I've seen him. Yeah, you have. You've met him. Is it? Yeah, Austin. I just, I just, there's just some names that, like, again, I'm, I'm not, I'm not all about uh, race. I don't care about all that stuff. But there's people my color can't be called Paddy, Austin, Archie. Let's go with one more, Hunter. I'd see me, I don't know you anyone. Can't. I don't know anyone with any of those names. You can't. So. You can't be my color with those names, and vice versa. There can't be Tyrone. You can't be a Kofi, <laughs> Femi, Benga. Yeah, but those are specifically Baba. Ghanaian names. And I thought I was gonna give you one more. Yeah, let's get, let's go with Rago's name, Kutumba. <laughs> That's like dropping things on the floor. <laughs> as soon as he came out, his mum dropped something and said, "That's his name." <laughs> Kutum, Kutum. Kutumba. Next comment comes from DJ Jamar. I'm glad that somebody finally brought up Rihanna's forehead. It looks like she got a forehead extension, but she's still beautiful. I'll be all of you. I, I think when I was like in year four, year three, I started noticing head shapes and it stuck with me. I always asked myself, why is his head like that? Why is the eye so low? Why is the eye touching the lips? Why is, there, why is there space for another face? I always ask these questions. And Rihanna, I see everyone talking about her, but everyone just ignores the forehead. That forehead is serious critical condition foreheads G girls girls make foreheads look good though you're right there was a girl back in the day of my area her name was uh melita uh she had a big forehead but she was buff but back in the day when you're young remember the forehead is they've got they've got you know the head of a, a 40 year old person but as a child you're not you're not clocking but when they grow into the head yeah. That's when it becomes a problem. Right. So you see like Critical, when you, when you first see Critical when he's in year five, well, that's cool. It's just another bench. It's just another bench in the hall. Year six sit on the bench, Critical's in year three sitting on the bench as well. It's nothing. But now when you get older, you start realizing, one second, this is in the way. This is the way. I'm outside a club behind Critical. 
and it's taking this long to swipe his ID. <laughs> That's because his picture in his ID is just his eye. They need the full frame, but they can't. So now they got to get a portrait. Oh, yeah. Have you seen how big his passport is? <laughs> Have you seen how big his passport is? <laughs> Critical's got a van comes in. <laughs> Critical, Crep, Kona, and all those guys are carrying it. Bouncer. I'm like, guys, why you got Atlas? No, it's not Atlas. It's, it's Critical's passport. And even when you open it, now you're only getting the top lip, the nose, and the eyes. <laughs> So now you gotta get a limo. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta find somebody new for the big head reference. Critical's got Critical's got the biggest head I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> no one says anything. Why don't bus drivers when they when, when they let him cross? Why ain't he saying something? <laughs> why drivers. why is a but yeah your bus driver driving a bus? Critical's crossing the road. <laughs> That's you're letting a bus do a U turn. You're going to be waiting for a long time. <laughs> Go and put seats. Go and put seats on his head. <laughs> Go and put a number on his face. Once you go past a bus stop, people their arms out. <laughs> uh, that actually hurt. Oh, that actually hurt. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, okay, cool, man. <laughs> I don't care what anyone told me. He, he does not lie down. That's not someone that lies down. <laughs> you go in his room, he's just standing in the corner. What's he doing there, he's sleeping? <laughs> 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 no bed. <laughs> the pillow's stuck to the wall. <laughs> There's covers stuck to the wall. <laughs> Reading my bedtime story, everyone's standing up. <laughs> Your back's hurting because of Critical. <laughs> critical wakes up, he can just, he can just go about his business. <laughs> he ain't even got a stretch. Get out of here, man. <laughs> oh, critical, I love you, bro, man, but your head's a different gravy. If I don't jump in and stop you now, I feel like you'll keep going. Listen, that's one person I can go all day with. And again, it's a, I'm obsessed. You I'm are obsessed. obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah. I'm obsessed. Yeah. Final comment comes from Andy Mina. EMA was like a free Nando's meal every week. Do you remember EMA T? I remember. I, I never went to college, so I didn't, I didn't get EMA. So EMA, yeah. EMA was, was it weekly? So if you were getting 30 pound a week, 30 times four, three, six, nine, twelve. So you're, you're getting 150 pound a month? That was a, long, that was a lot of money back in the day. 150 pound a month can get you Nike traders in JD them days. Yeah. So it was a, it was a lot of money. So it, it, it was enough to, to 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 keep you fresh. I remember uh, when it was the MA day, I would see my friends. They would have like a Nike headband mm. or wristbands. They were like four pound. Yeah. Yeah. Like a couple of Nike accessories. Yeah. yeah. Um, but you could only get EMA if your parents weren't working or you was with a single parent. Okay. If your both parents are working, you couldn't get it. Never had it, um, yeah, never went to college. I dropped out of school straight So Miles, M Miles probably could have got more than 30. He probably could have got 65 pound. Because <laughs> his mum was, she was in a R A R A S British Red Cross. Red Cross. That's not good money. They're, 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 they're enemy. Yeah, they're not paying. Well, I mean, Red Cross, that's almost voluntary when you think about it. Do you know what time it is? Uh, it's time for Remember Wrestling. If I, I need to see fans, T. I need to see fans. <laughs> only gonna see fans you're gonna see something very special oh god amazing and not only is it something special for you but something tells me one of our cameramen is gonna enjoy this as well this better not be gangrel again it's not gangrel oh, let me see red smoke this rings a bell i can't believe what i'm seeing what are you seeing i'm seeing two guys crawling and one's on someone's the other's on this is a, this is terrible. Cause I remember one boogeyman. Well, that, that better, other that better man. not be Hornswoggle. That's, oh my god! That's mini boogeyman. He came out of his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> this is SmackDown 2006. I'm not gonna tell you who's in the match. 
I never liked this boogie, man. I didn't like him. This is like, it was too tribal. He eats worms. They've got those uh, South African hairstyles talking about, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Look at Mini Boogie, man. How can Mini Boogie be bending down? <laughs> yeah, this is weird to you. I, I never liked Boogie, man. This is weird. Where's the worms? Oh, my. Oh. That is disgusting. It is that better be disgusting. noodles. <laughs> it's not, it's real worms. And they really put it in their mouth? Yeah. I remember when I cut a worm, um, you know, in half and both sides are still moving. Legend. Finley. My name is Philly and I love to fight. I wonder are you, he was amazing. I wonder his tag team partner. See, that's be. a name that some of my color can't have as well. Did I mention Hornswoggle? <laughs> He's still got the worm in his mouth. So where's Finley? Good question. I liked Hornswoggle. Why? He was the best out of the minis for me. <laughs> he was the fastest. <laughs> where's Finley? All right, let's see this now. You know what I don't like about this? What? They should have took one rope off. <laughs> it's free. They should just, you know what I mean? <laughs> but what would that have achieved? Just, yeah, it's just easy to climb up. You know what I mean? <laughs> it looks too, oh, that's, that's, oh my God. <laughs> that's disgusting. <laughs> He's got worms on, on the 0.5. <laughs> He Why is he throwing worms at the ref? <laughs> That's true. What's the ref done? Pause that now. Pause it now. Pause it now. They've taken 10 minutes to start fighting. And when they've started fighting, they're not fighting. What was that boogeyman just doing there? <laughs> this is a little push. Was he dressing him up or was he hitting him? <laughs> it's just a little push. What? T press play. Oh, power slam. That wasn't a power slam. <laughs> well, no, come on, this is not, is this a worms, man? More worms! <laughs> More, he's doing soccer with worms. <laughs> Mini booger, man, you're kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hunswoggle, hurry up and get these worms and just pin him. Come on. He <laughs> <laughs> just threw worms in his face. No, this is this is this is a food fight. <laughs> this is a food fight. Grapes versus worms. <laughs> See what I'm saying about, you see what I'm saying, oh, 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 he was fast. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there's yeah, Finley. Yes! Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> what a clothesline. Mini. And Hornswoggle's distracting the ref. <laughs> you see what I'm saying about Hootsago? <laughs> Whoa. Ah. What did you hit him with? It's called a shillelagh, apparently. Is that Irish? It must be. Shillelagh? See what I'm saying to you? Should have been just a, the two ropes, but it's cool. <laughs> Lovely slam. Lovely slam. <laughs> Amazing. You know Hornswago is not happy with wrestling now. Oh, yeah. He's got a podcast talking Does about he? all the bad things like this as well. What was bad about that? Too many worms. There was just too much worms going on. 
and 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 if and just if there's spaghetti in my house tonight, that means I'm not eating it. You put me your food. This is how I am. What about the green mist? No, there's grapes. That's fine. There's grapes. I prefer the I prefer that green stuff to the to the worms. <laughs> Look at those leather trousers, man. Did that look weird though? On his knees, but he took him out. <laughs> Finney didn't need, need to use a weapon. <laughs> no. Do you know what I like about this power slam? He just lands on him. He doesn't really bounce off him, he just lands. <laughs> he lands right there. And then rolls away to make it look like it was a it was a it was impact. But you know what, T? What sort of the situation? In many ways. Mark Henry's face came straight after that. So it's a twist. We mentioned we mentioned um, Boogeyman last week, but we've never done a Boogeyman match. Never liked Boogeyman. Yeah, you're, if you reckon your family probably wouldn't have liked him. What do you think? T, I'm gonna ask you again. Are them worms real? Yeah, they're real worms, yeah. So why, why, why did Vince or JR, who was head of talent at the time? Nah, he wasn't. Who, who was the head of talent? John Laurinaitis. So why would they say, let's go with the worms? Because people like you didn't like it. So then I wouldn't watch it. Yeah, but you, would, you, you wouldn't skip the whole show just for that one bit. You just go, oh, I hate this guy. Oh, this is disgusting. Oh, this is nasty. So just because, so basically they, so you're telling me that these uh, people, these people upstairs in wrestling can say to you, like, you know what? You, you're going to have shit around your mouth because we want people not to like you. Yeah. And you, and you got to run with it. Yeah. Think about Bing Bang Billy. He used to chase uh, farm animals around, smelly, sweat, grease. That's fine. But remember, you know how I am when, when things go in your mouth. It's true. It's a bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Worms. Yeah. I didn't like the boogeyman. And I, I, I was hoping boogeyman ripped a, you know, a shoulder muscle or done his ACL very early so I didn't have to see him again. And that never happened. So we saying out of uh, five, that how many stars do you give in that match? Finley Hornswog under the Wolfie. ring, Hornswog off. The My top name's rope. Finley, and I love to fight. That was amazing. That that that's a great start to to your your entrance music. I have to give that a one though, T man. Boogeyman, mini Boogeyman came out of Boogeyman's pocket, and in the other pocket was worms. <laughs> and they were just they they were just too close. I mean just. The mini Boogeyman was in his back. They went through his legs, then out of his pocket. And I'm just like, yeah, Boogeyman, you both should have done your shoulder or your ACL muscle. I enjoyed it. What? I don't know. It's not that serious. No, 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 no. Well, we're going to move on from that because it was disgusting, you think. Are we going to move on to... It's time for Noel's News. Yes. <laughs> This first story comes from the Florida. Times. No. Is it Florida? No, no, not Florida. There'll probably be some Florida at some There's point. a dog in this one. There's no dog in this one. A man's balls was on fire. This article comes from the Times. I know, I know, I know, I know the strategy now, Felix and Greg. One in four Frenchmen wear... Be Mike Tyson. One in four Frenchmen wear dirty underpants. A quarter of French people do not take either a bath or a shower every day, according to a poll. Mm -hmm. The French have a reputation among the American and British for uncleanliness, and they still have not caught up with some other nations, the survey by the French Institute of Public Opinion showed. It found that 81% said they wash their whole body every day, compared with only 71% of men. 71% of men don't wash their body every day in France. In a 1951 survey, only 52% of French women said that they completed the wash of their whole body every day. What? So this is part of their culture. Their co the culture in France is that one in four does not right, so, wash. So we need to break down what French people means because when I go to when we went to Paris, yeah, I only saw Senegalese and Algerians. I didn't see no French people. So are you telling me Senegalese and Algerians don't wash? I no, I think they're probably the ones that do. 
Okay. Because that's not their culture. Right. Because in 1951, yeah. 52% of French women didn't wash. This is my thing, T. My body tells me to wash. You know how? By the smelling. smell of my BO. Yeah. Well, I, I usually wash before I smell BO. I, one time I was... You, you, you know when you smell your BO without trying to smell your armpit? That's a problem. So if your face is here, but you can smell this armpit here, that's your body saying, hey, swear. You know what I mean? I know what you mean. I got friends from Congo that ignore that idea. <laughs> you know, they have their head up. <laughs> Behind their leg, <laughs> smells of cabbage. <laughs> Behind the leg here. And their head's up. But they still refuse. Do you remember when we went to France last year? Do you remember how hot it was? It was the hottest day. And it, they, 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 Twice, they, actually. Two, two times. Two days. Yeah, we went there. Because yeah. we went there for three days. Yeah. And then, like, a week later, we went back yeah. for that Mercurial event. Yeah. And that was super, super hot. hot. No shade. It's super hot. Do you know, when I go to... When I, when, I, when I was in Paris that day, obviously, it was working, so it was tough. But Cancun and Africa, I was washing three, four times a day. Because I, could, I just... Yeah. When the sweat starts to come in, like, you feel... I don't know. It's just that feeling. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to jump in the shower. Yeah. But French people, I didn't know that you leave it for so long that when you go in the shower, it looks like you've been a keeper at Sunday League football. Brown stuff on the ground. <laughs> That's disgusting. Next story comes from The Guardian. Not Florida. No dogs. UK sewage system in danger of gridlock from toilet paper substitutes. I had a friend called Chimmy back in the day when I used to go to his house. I always say, this is a sewage factory. <laughs> what, what was it? His house. Why? The smell. <laughs> wow. I, I don't know why. I don't know what they were doing. I don't know if they were killing fish, banging fish. I don't know what was going on, but there was some serious fish slash sewage smell in that house. And as soon as you said that, it just came back to my nose. I need to cough. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, T. Consumers have been warned of the dangers of substituting kitchen roll and wet wipes for toilet paper, which, if flushed down the loo, could overwhelm the UK's sewers. Big problem I had in my house. I used to, wipe, I used to use kitchen roll for my ass. Why? It's bigger. <laughs> I, I, I like when, 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 when I like the tissue when it goes over around your, your hands. <laughs> when you break it, poof, there's a bit of base and you put it all over them. Boom. And you look at it. Think, oh, yeah, that was a good one. You know what I mean? I don't like this. I don't when you break tissue and you have to do this. Up your ass. Because I'm scared the little finger might go in and cut something up and end up a sharky. Blood everywhere. So I feel like a bigger kitchen roll is the best thing. Forgot That's about just that. me. That's just me. I like kitchen paper. Innocent consumer substitutions due to shortages caused by fears about the spread of coronavirus could create serious consequences which are critical to society and life, according to leading supply chain academic Professor Richard Wilding. The warning comes amid panic buying sweeping UK supermarkets, which has resulted in some people trying to make massive profit by selling toilet roll and hand sanitizer online. Now, you had a toilet roll problem last week after yeah. no rules. Yeah, I couldn't find no toilet roll. I ended up being, uh, I took, we were eating in a restaurant and I left to go and get toilet roll. I ended up buying toilet roll and they said to me, they said to me, basically it was the only toilet roll left. When I opened the toilet roll at home, the toilet roll came with a smell. <laughs> See, don't laugh. I've never heard of toilet roll with a smell. What, what's it called? Uh, scented. Se yeah, it's scented. <laughs> that's I'm, the good I'm, stuff. What do you mean that's the good stuff? You're I'm, on the come up, man. The, 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 my, my shit is going on there. That, the, there's no, no sensors there. It's going, it's going to get flushed. Why are you bringing smell? I'm still, I'm still, I've never bought kitchen paper with, with, with smell. Never. This is nonsense. It's a tough market. I, I, knew, I, knew someone, I knew someone was making money. I knew someone was making money. All of a sudden, coronavirus, now t tissues got a smell. What is going on? That's why I like myocardial disease. There's no smell nowhere. Nothing had no smell. It's just myocardial disease, that's it. You don't know anything about myocardial disease. Don't misinform your audience. Mad. 
cow disease. Um, apparently, um, Thames Water are saying, please oh, stick. <laughs> no, oh, oh, we, we, we're not going to go past that. There's some areas in London that stink. <laughs> Enfield stinks. <laughs> the River Thames by uh, Bank stinks. <laughs> Beckton stinks. <laughs> Ferry Lane yeah. stinks. <laughs> Catford. Catford. Catford stinks. stinks. Thamesmead stinks. <laughs> you just drive, you're on the motorway. There's, wh- wh- where is it again? When you go towards Lakeside, where Jordy lives, stinks. <laughs> you just, you're driving, you're, you're on a motorway, and then a smell just comes out of nowhere. You're in the car, and the wind is trying to get away from the smell, but the smell's <laughs> chasing the wind, and it ends up with you. <laughs> the Salford Sharks Rugby Stadium. There's a is it like a waste processing plant yeah. right over the road. At, at certain times of night, when you leave in that stadium, we did a job there a couple of years ago. We had to do it over the course of a couple of days. You had to run to the car. The smell was so bad. Yeah, just. And you know what I don't like about those areas? When you if you could be a girl, you're driving through those areas, Tigo. And the smell comes. <laughs> now you know <laughs> this is the sewage ends. Ops is coming for your nose. <laughs> but she don't know. No. So she's looking at you and you're looking at her. But you, you, you if you say, oh, hey, Brandy, it stinks. This is the bad area. She's going to be thinking that's guilty. So you have to take it on the chin and say, you know what, it's me. And it's not you, sewage. Why would you take it on the chin? Because if you say anything, she's going to think it's you anyway. And she's not saying anything. If you said, is that you? Then you can explain the whole situation. She ain't saying, is that you? So it's got to be you. You just go, this area stinks. That, that's, when you do them ones. I did it, me and, me and um, Yasmin Diaz, we was at uh, our, one, one our hand screening thing, time ago. We're sitting there, one strong smoking, whoosh. <laughs> they came from my nose before Yasmin Diaz's nose. So, oh! <laughs> you smell that? She's like, no. Three seconds later, ah! <laughs> Specs! Everyone looking at me. Oh, you witch. I told you first. <laughs> she didn't got unfollowed for that, young Yasmin Diaz. Oh, little Yaz. Yeah, apparently uh, Thames Water, the company. I saw you. I saw you sewage. <laughs> I saw you sewage. Fuck's sake! I saw you sewage. Thames Water, the company, have advised that only the three <laughs> p. <laughs> Thames Water, the company, have uh, advised that only the three p's be flushed: poo, pee, and paper. Parentheses toilet. So, so toilet paper. So kitchen roll. Kitchen. There's no R in it. Kr. Kitchen roll in the toilet. It blocks toilet stuff. That's about my mum kills me. Stop putting the kitchen roll in if you wanna block it. If it blocks with yellow pages, we just call it to come and fix it. Who cares? You know what? One time I blocked the toilet. Yeah, I blocked the toilet in my house. Sewage! <laughs> Everyone! And you remember, remember, yeah? My auntie's noses. It's got the armpits, the elbows, everything's out. You know what I mean? So they smell it before it even comes. Mm, 30! That's what they call me. So toilet's blocked, sewage is here. And we stayed with sewage for four days in us. Sewage was renting with us, boy. <laughs> My shit came back up. <laughs> shit, it was on a Wednesday. Shit from Sunday came back up the toilet. So you call backlash. <laughs> Kitchen towels designed not to like collapse or erode. Mm. So it's just, you're just putting like fucking plastic down there basically. It just sticks down there. Just cancel, man. Just do <laughs> Don't play the council. It's not a mortgage. <laughs> why, 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 why is my family behaving like they got a mortgage? <laughs> they got one. In, they got one in Africa. In yeah, your well, name. yeah, that's, that's 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 different though. <laughs> you, there you buy land, and that's it. <laughs> Next story comes from advocate.com, and it's a question: mm. Can masturbation help prevent COVID nineteen? Oh, oh, now we're talking. Now I said to you, I don't feel like I could ever get this 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 virus. I don't feel like I'm close. I don't feel like it's come my way. And I feel like 
shoulder shaking has helped. Um, and it can, I feel it's a huge distraction. And what I like about, you know, porn is there's no scenes of coronavirus. I'm, so there's I- There's no scenes. So I don't believe that's true. There's, you know, there's no scenes of like, oh, coronavirus is over there and a the girl runs and lands in the guy's lap and then they start shaking the place. There's no scenes. So I like masturbating, and so, uh, AKA shoulder shaking. In fact, I got a message from someone that said, uh, we should make a remix to Wiley's song, Shake a Leg to Shoulder Shake. Come and shoulder shake with me. Oh. Oh, so we're gonna do that, that's coming soon. But um, I, think it's, I, I think it's the cure. Well, apparently uh, m- masturbation won't cause unsightly hair to grow on your palms but it may help to boost your immune system and beat off at least one type of cancer. That's according to two studies that examine the effects of masturbation on the immune system and the incidence of prostate cancer. In this time of COVID-19, travel restrictions and self-quarantines, many people are looking for every opportunity to bolster their immune systems. I know what prostate cancer is. It's the balls. It's not, it's the other side. Because I thought I had prostate cancer one time. Right. Where is it? skin under the balls <laughs> the bum yes do you know what happened to me speak on it i'm in my bed by myself i'm lying down yeah unlike some people who are standing up in the corner <laughs> allegedly so i'm blowing wind and you know when you blow wind by yourself under your bed the hot ones you play with it Woof! Ow! Specs! <laughs> One nil. Woof! Ah! Two. You play yourself. That's what happens. <laughs> but I noticed every time I, every time I was blowing this hot wind, it was hurting. The middle of the line. So you know, let me go and touch. Let me touch. And this is what's going on. It's my body. I could do what I want. Yep, yep. <clears throat> So when I got the mirror, my, my mirror has got, you know, I can lift the mirror and move it around. There's no, there's no nails on the wall that hangs the mirror. This is one of those ones. Yeah, I can just yeah. move it around, yeah? Yeah. So now you, I'm, I'm, I'm twerking almost <laughs> to see what's going on. Yeah, yeah. I noticed that there's a pink lump in my bum hole. Before, before we carry on. Yeah. Sounds like a kitchen roll issue. Carry on. Now I'm panicking. Hmm. Because this lump is huge. Right. I, I, it had an eyebrow. <laughs> and you're not one to go to the doctors. I'm like not one to go to the doctors. So I'm thinking, right, who can I call that can keep a secret? There's only one person. Issues. <laughs> but you can't keep a secret for him. There's no rules. <laughs> Apparently. Issues, remember this. I took a picture of my ass. I sent it to Issues. Issues. Look at this. Thirds. When he says thirds, it's something serious. It's thirds. It looks like prostate cancer. Doctor issues. I googled. I googled. I looked. I read it. I saw other guys with lumps. Pictures. All on. It's on the internet. Yeah. But no eyebrow. No. <laughs> so I'm thinking my time's up. I'm gonna die. But you are again. You are one to self-diagnose. Death. And then I just thought to myself, you know what? No. I just took it away. I just forgot about it. And then a week later I checked, it was gone. And I think that it came from kitchen when I style. spoke to, no, what it, did it? Go on. Is it kitchen roll? Probably. I thought to call issues now. What did it come from? He's I'm in gonna call him, I have to call him, I have to call him. I've got he's call in him. Rwanda. He's only four hours ahead. <laughs> what did it come from again? Come on, Steve, man. He's probably driving. He's only got Wi-Fi when he's in his Pizza house. Wilson. Steve! Can you hear me? Yeah, go on, what's up? Steve, do you remember that time, yeah, years back when I sent you a picture of my bum and I had a lump in the bum, on my bum cheek? Remember that lump I had? Yeah. Do you remember what caused it? Hello? Do you remember what caused it? 
in growing hair. I love you, Steve, man, because I remember, yeah, you, you tested it for me. All right, I'll, I'll shut you back. <laughs> oh, I swear. <laughs> shut you back. <laughs> He said, don't come with that tested rubbish. I didn't <laughs> test anything. <laughs> how did you test an ingrowing hair? <laughs> and how, did, how, did, how did Dr. Issues oh. figure ingrowing hair was prostate cancer? Prostate, which is inside the body. I sent a picture of my ass to my close friend. <laughs> and he said, oh yeah, you got ingrowing hair. <laughs> I had that on my face one time. Oh, this is my doctor. You see, I told you, people, people think I'm a comedian now. Do these are real life stories. These are real life stories. Unfortunately, if I knew Tigo them days, I would have sent you the picture. Actually. Probably, yeah. Oh my god! Final no rules news story comes from NDTV. Newspaper prints extra pages for people. He said, yeah. <laughs> He's not to say that. And he waited. <laughs> He's not waiting to say that. He doesn't know it's no rules. <laughs> Newspaper prints extra pages for people to use as toilet paper. Mm, I've used, have I used toilet paper? Have I used, have I used paper before to wipe my bum? Newspaper. It wouldn't, you wouldn't get much purchase, would you? Kind of be a bit slippy. I've used paper before. Yeah, yeah I've used newspaper, yeah. Really? Yeah, one we, we, in a church years back. There was no, but there was, there was no, no, no tissue. But there was a newspaper in the church. Yeah, yeah. I remember the, I, I used a newspaper. I remember. We've all used newspaper. Don't look at me like I'm. Cr L, L, you've used it? No. No. You never used newspaper before. Yeah, but that's because he's your 21st century. That's yeah, why. he's from a generation yeah. that doesn't know what newspapers are. Yeah, yeah. NT News printed mm. eight extra pages that could be cut out and used as toilet paper. People in Australia have been stockpiling everyday essentials like to toilet paper in response to the coronavirus crisis. Australians have been panic buying so much toilet paper, in fact, that some new supermarket shelves have been left bare. To tackle the toilet paper shortage and miss coronavirus fears, the newspaper came up with a novel solution. On Thursday, NT News printed eight extra pages for people to use as toilet paper, and their unconventional idea has left many in splits. That's when, you, when the editorial tries to be funny, but... What do you think of that idea? Well, I think it's a good idea in terms of if toilet paper's gone, now we've got to start using magazines and newspapers because 21st century kids like L don't know about Top Shelf, right? They don't know about Match, um, Games, Games Magazines. Which ones? The ones that give you the cheats. Games Master. Games Master. Um, Beano. Being Atlas. <laughs> You ain't seen an atlas, and you ain't seen a passport the size of an atlas. Because you wasn't at the club with me, where Critical was trying to get in, but his ID didn't qualify. You weren't there. Um, and I bought Miles a TV guard as well. You brought him yeah. a TV guard. That's such an old school reference, atlas, because that's like a giant book. But I don't think they still make giant books like that. Do you anymore. remember the books? Like I remember when I used to go into the library and get Basically, my mum used to say, look, go to the library, get a book, because you have one, uh, once a week you have to read. So she, my mum, obviously, she what she meant was me, get a, a book like Macbeth. One yeah. of those books that <laughs> I've got 600 pages and you read and they've got big words. Yeah. What did I get? The Guinness Book of Records. <laughs> so I'm there with the Guinness Book of Records, critical on the front cover, because he's broken all kind of records. <laughs> And I bought it, and my mum's like, wow, this boy's gonna learn. I ain't learning shit. All I know <laughs> is the tallest man in the world lives in Singapore. <laughs> That's not a lot of info, mum. Mum, you're a dimwit. <laughs> oh, fuck. Thank you, everybody, for watching and for listening to No Rules Show. Oh, amazing, man. Been yeah. here since October. We're growing, we're doing well, man. And we it's are. organic. We're about to hit a million views across all the videos. Oh, amazing. Close to that. Uh, yeah, we don't know if we're going to be in quarantine by the time this comes out. Mm -hmm. But we're going to keep trying bringing you episodes. Yeah, and man. if we're in quarantine and we're locked down and there's police outside with guns to stop us from coming outside, we'll do it on Instagram Live or something. Yeah. So you can have it live. I'm happy. I'm happy quarantine's coming anyway because it means that my foot manager league now gets going. You know? True. So I've got no rules on my screen. And I've got my... Uh, I thought manager, man. Keep watching people, man, and comment.
I don't care what your name is. It doesn't matter. But I will talk about it if I don't like it. <laughs>